Stevie wants a white one. Got to get to work. All right, you ready? Get a little back a little bit further. He's on me, he's on me. He's on you now. He's on you. Nice. There he is. Woo! -hoo -hoo. Oh. Presented by Yellowfin with Captain Scott Walker and Captain Steve Roger. Scotty, here we are, dude. Maryland. <sighs> White Marlin Open. Week later. I'm telling you right now, I'm so glad you, I get you up here to White Marlin Fish in the first place. But one week ago, right here, 10 square feet, there were people shoulder to shoulder waiting to watch the fish wave. And we're still over a quarter mile away from the weigh station. We actually had 204 boats start out today, uh, but two boats. But they'd have a little loudspeaker system where you could hear the weigh-ins, but this place was electric. Yeah. 180 and a half pounds. We have a It's the busiest week of the summer in the entire state of Maryland, just for one reason, the White Marlin Open. There's 260 boats fishing for $2 million, and people that can't fish don't care. They still want to come here this week, talk about it, think about it, watch the way in. This is the biggest week of summer for everybody. It's all about being at Harbor Island Monday through Friday, 4 o'clock to 9 o'clock to watch the big fish get weighed in. If they're lucky enough to charter boat and get to fish, their families are waiting to cheer them on. If not, they're just people that get caught up in the madness of this moment. They're all fishing for one prize. If this is a jackpot tournament. You know, it, does, it doesn't pay a lot of money to everybody. It pays one big check to one lucky guy. So you can go out in your 25 Grady White and catch 80 pound white, or you can go out in your $5 million boat. It's, it's not about catching 15 or 20. That's what we're here to do this week. <laughs> I'm not sure if you've ever noticed when you were here last year, because I'm not sure that you um, untied the boat when you went out. Maybe I was awake for a little bit. All right. Trying to find the blankets and the pillows. <laughs> you know, besides this being the, the week, well, it is the week. The coolest thing is, and even my parents, who I go fishing every day, so they get up the first day of the tournament, the Monday. Besides being here at 4 o'clock to see what goes comes in, they get up in the dark, 4 a.m. with all the fishermen, and flock to the inlet parking lot. And some of these, there's been over 800 to 1,000 people in the pitch of night, cheering and yelling and screaming as the boats, you know, we can't leave until 4 a.m., that's the rules, but you can gather. So they, everybody gets all gung-ho, they're all jacked up, their baits are rigged, they're everything ready, it's time to go fishing. And now, they're all horses in a pen, they're all in a bull in a gate, and the boats start gathering and that filled the whole in up, and the, there's an actual cheering section. It's flashing pictures, it's the, actually, I don't know of any other event like that. I, I know the old Bimini starts, yeah. but what are Bimini starts? They were all made for helicopters, right? because no one can see a Bimini start from land. It's, it's as the, much of a sporting event as a football game. I yeah. mean, it's a big deal. It's, it's, comp it's competition, it's big it's money. A, and, they and, and 500 of the fishing. In here at the dock, you probably got a lot of people, and probably I would say 95% of the people that show up here own a boat. Yeah. But what happens is everybody from the city mm -hmm. who doesn't even own a boat, who doesn't even fish, they just go for that awesome, spectacular, seven billion dollars worth of boats and, <laughs> rolling through and, 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 and this was the 40th annual it just gets bigger and bigger and bigger it's perfect time got you out of the woods i know it's a little tough for you with the, the, the rut coming on but there's been 300 boats here for a week. Now we know where the fish are. We know where the bodies of bait are. Besides the fact that the white marlin fishing is great.
Into the Blue, presented by Yellowfin, is brought to you in part by Mercury Marine, celebrating 75 years of marine excellence. Yellowfin, only in a Yellowfin. And by Under Armour, Seaguar, and Ameritrail. Oh yeah, Scotty's backyard. No white marlin fishing. Going down, baby. Yep, we're all good. What do you need? Drop her down just a little bit. A little bit down, a little bit down. Hold it right there. Drop her down to about 55 feet. Away she goes. All right, 55. My leaders are all 80 from the tournament. Let's switch to 50. OK. And the ballyhoos are right here. And you just want me to put, put a flat line out right now? Yeah, put one flat line out right behind it. These are while we get cool. Again, just put it through the rubber grommet. Oh, I like that, dude. <laughs> yeah, we added a swivel to it, and they swim even better. Boom. That's it. That's it. Nice slick, dude. <laughs> Gonna swim good. That is slick. I think I can get You know, as you said, this is your backyard. This is where you grew up. This is what you do. This is what you love to do. Uh, even though you run a great business in Key West, but this blue marlin, there's no better white marlin fishing than there is up here in August. Um, you said we're gonna head out and look for these pods of whales. I guess they're feeding on squid or, or tinker mackerel or whatever they're feeding on. But in there, you find the tunas and the, the, the white marlin and the blue marlin. Um, and, and sure enough, we got out there, and bam, I mean, there were the whales. Oh, look at them all. That's beautiful. Look at that. We need one of them. Look at that. Oh, that's sick, dude. Look at that lighting. We're, yeah, we're getting some light here. I'm going to be able to come down sea now. We've been banging up sea a lot. We can do a big, slow down sea turn. They're just... And these things are feeding. That's what's really cool. Squid or what? That's what I believe. I haven't gutted one. <laughs> There's two populations of pilot whales in two different canyons, one off of Trader, Maryland, and one off of Virginia Beach. But during the tournament, the bigger big eyes showed up off Virginia Beach. So I hadn't fished for three or four days, but just, you know, dock talk, dock, you just listen. And you know, we picked a random number at 80 miles. So we knew we had to get there. And then, you know, it's kind of rough. So we thought, I thought we'd have to find the whales ourselves and it might take an hour trolling but when we were less than a mile out radar picked up four boats which were commercial tuna fishermen and they were sitting right on the school whales so it took us a while to get out there but we didn't have to waste any time trolling to find them so that was a huge bonus man look at that that's beautiful now how do them guys put that stick down for going under the bridges or whatever they don't they wait for the bridges to go up i got you there's some tension on that thing, dude. Well, the, the bird, you know what a bird is. Right. It's six foot long, two by six with wings. It has to hold that, that big old line tight. See the squids dangling? So the, the bird's all the way to the back. Yep, you'll, it's a big splashy thing coming up in the and rear. And your bait is behind the bird? No, it's in front. OK. Yeah, they're from right behind the boat. Do you see the, I see that thing hanging there. Those How are squids dangling. Got? See the squids dangling? Yeah, yeah. As the bird bites, they come up and go down. They get naturally jigged. 80s. Did they get her? Oh, jeez. No. Come on, come on. Come on. Right in the flight line, it's a white one. Long, a bit long. You got him on, right? Fish on. There he is! Woo! Woo -hoo! Oh! Just go ahead and slow her down a little bit. What do I need to bring up, buddy? Let's start on the right side here. Let's clear this one. Look at him go. The 80 first or the short? The 80 first. Dude, I seen that 80 bend over. I thought it was the man. Look at him go. He's getting 10 feet in there. Can we straighten it out? No, you're good right here. It's a good circle. We're almost coming down on him. Man, this thing went crazy back there. That's one one move a sailfish doesn't have. We're all clear, guys. All right, there's a pair of gloves right there for you. Don't go to the back of the boat or you'll be tangled up. Now we're going to stay right here. We're gonna, you can talk to me and I can talk to you. Where are them gloves at? They're right here in the side locker. There he is. Woo! Yeah! Active little guy. Coming at me. Nice little 50-pounder. 
There's a leader right there, about 20 feet. It's a pretty fish. So I got me some boxing gloves on. Pretty Look at him fish. go, look at him go. <laughs> he doesn't That was a weird jump there, huh? He's going every which way. Hopefully that circle hook's where it belongs. He's going nuts. Calm down. <laughs> he is just shaking his head underwater so hard. He's angry. He's holding about 20 feet down. I love the color on them things, man. Well, they're in just deep green water and that deep blue body. They're just beautiful. You know, they're twice as wide as a sail. That's where they get that extra jump. What have these fish been averaging weight-wise? About 60 pounds or what? About 50, really. I thought the guest was supposed to catch the first one. Well, you had a pole in your hand. I know. I thought you were hooked up on that 80, though. He zipped me, and I just got it to the surface. He got the bait off when he piled on. Oh, his tail's all lit up. That deep blue, you just can't even paint it. He's right here, well, I'm bringing him to you. Bring him to me. Come on. That's a hatchet, see his dorsal's flat. Okay, really? That's a round scale. That's the one you want to catch in yeah, the tournament. Yeah, yeah, the flat one. one's, that flat top. No, because it's flat across uh -huh, the top. That like... makes him the hatchet. That's what they're calling a spearfish, not a white. But for the, look at him, look at him glowing. Look at that. Yeah, he's got some pretty 20 color. minutes, he's still got that in him. All right. All right. Got him, baby. I got some cutters right here. He's free. Free? Yeah. OK. Let's, let's do it up fish, on a, bring right? him up to the bow. Want me to bring him in? Bring him into the bow, yep. Awesome. Come on up here. Come on up here. Boy, they're thick like a wahoo, you know? Yeah. Show them that flat dorsal fin there. Yeah, it's real flat right there. Yeah, pretty cool. All right, let's get him back in the water. All right, good deal. You got him. I got him. What a nice fish, Scott. Yeah, buddy. Good job, dude. Give him a little revival. I'm going to turn him loose. All right. You got, we got to let him go so you can catch one. Nice job, bud. Awesome, dude. Good job. Good Thanks. Job. Heck, I didn't do anything. <laughs> you didn't want to call me. Good deal. Let's get set up and do it again. Oh, I'd love to. Into the Blue, presented by Yellowfin, is brought to you in part by Yeti Coolers, wildly stronger, keep ice longer. Simrad, go with confidence. And by Shimano, Costa Sunglasses and Bass Pro Shops. One of the best things about borrowing new boats is new electronics. And all the newest Simrad stuff's on this new 39 Yellowfin. Biggest monitors made, these are the 19 inch uh, all glass monitors run by an NSO processor and uh, keyboard and powered by Sirius. We're sitting right here today because it's blowing too hard to go fishing. And here's the main reason why. There's a big cold front coming through right now, and you can see, actually see the weather laid right on the chart where we'd be fishing. And a nice feature of this is it actually tells you where the storms are moving and how fast. Just by putting the cursor on the actual storm top and holding down Enter, we're gonna know that this cloud top is at 25,000 feet, which doesn't bother us much, so that's more for airplane. Uh, information, but we know the storm is moving at 33 knots at east northeast. That's huge amount of information for a fisherman when you're 50 miles offshore, 60 miles offshore. So now we got this storm out there moving at 35 knots with embedded lightning. We uh, chose to stay in today. Besides the weather overlay, which is just the safety uh, implications are even understated. It's just it's just the safest piece of equipment you can have on your boat to keep you and your family and friends safe. And now on the other screen at the same time, real time, we have the sea surface temperature overlay. Uh, if we were fishing today, this with dock here, say, would give us a really good idea where we want to go fishing. Uh, the marlin and tuna are all temperature uh, related fish with uh, eddies and eddies of warm and cold water blending together, create bait fish accumulation. Wherever bait accumulates, that's where the alpha predator is going to be. We have the Gulf Stream sitting right off of North Carolina over 200 miles, which is out of range for day fishing. 
but the eddies that swir swirl off it over the canyons is where we want to try to find a nice two to three degree temperature break where the warm water will meet the cool water, bait fish will gather, and then the marlin and tuna will follow. We have real time, 10 minute up updates all day long of the ocean as we're actually out there fishing. We're gonna zoom in on this feature right here. And as we move our cursor, the sea surface temperature is sliding along with our position. But you got a 79 degree water sliding right up to 85. There's an area that needs to be investigated. With a fishing day be limited to eight hours with runs to two to three hours, uh, knowing where the fish are or where to fish saves you time and catches you more fish, saves you fuel at the end of the day and makes for a much more enjoyable fishing day. Want to see more of Into the Blue? Well, you don't have to wait for the show to be on. You can follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, or even our YouTube channel for full-length shows. We have some how-to videos, amazing pictures. We'd love y'all to come over, ask us some questions, post your own pictures, or just enjoy ours. See you there. Into the Blue, presented by Yellowfin, is brought to you in part by Marine Formula Stable, protects against the damaging effects of ethanol fuels in marine engines. Bubba Blade, the ultimate sportsman's knife. The Florida Keys and Key West, come as you are. Tailwalker Charters and Spear One Charters. It's our 40th anniversary and uh, it's definitely changed since the first time we ever held one of these things. Uh, 40 years ago, we had 57 boats and the townhouses weren't here and uh, the background music wasn't here. It, it was, but 40 years later, it's probably one of the most talked about tournaments anywhere in the world. The basic categories are the heaviest white marlin. If you catch the heaviest white marlin, that's, pro that's top prize. We have first, second, and third in that category. We also have the first three blue marlin first, second, and third. The heaviest wahoo, the heaviest tuna, the heaviest dolphin, and the heaviest shark, first, second, and third. And we have different ways people can get into extra uh, entry fees, we call it. So we have a lot of different ways people can experience the White Marlin Open and uh, get into different categories, whatever they feel comfortable. That's the nice thing about this tournament. It's open, anybody can fish it, and you go in as you, whatever level you feel like participating in. Stevie wants a white one. Gotta get to work. See it? Yeah, that's perfect, right there in that blue hole. Where's the teaser at? It's in the dredge. How far, Scott? Let's see. I wind it up. See it? Yeah, that's perfect, right there in that blue hole. Is it a white or blue? All right, I got him. Get, are you ready? It's a white. All right, you ready? Get a little back a little bit further. He's on me, he's on me. Okay. He's on you now. He's on you. Nice. Got him, baby. Nice eye. That's the bite I like there, Walker. I'll bet you did. Oh, man. He goes. He's on the long. Right long. Yeah! You got to see white marlin fishing. Yeah. And you got to see how high flying they are and how fast they are, how they can move. You know, we catch a lot of sails together. You catch a, sails without me. Sails fight, jump, and they're spectacular. But there's another gear a white marlin has. You know, sails are, have the same exact profile, but not the girth. Right. They're, a white <laughs> marlin is like a wahoo. You know, he's like a 50 pound wahoo with the, the dorsal, obviously, and the longer pecs and the bill. Yeah. I mean, but his tail, the, the, the thickness like carries. two sails splashed together. Yeah, yeah. For me, for some reason, and maybe just the color or whatever, but the, they're so rounded in the back end. It, it just reminded me of more of like a, you know, like a mackerel kind of body at the back end. But 
but at any rate, what a spectacular fish. Did you, you know, see the jumps? They were clear. 15 feet in the air. <laughs> Uh, just killer, killer, you know, very acrobatic, uh, great, fast, great, fast. great bites. Yeah. Um, they say a sailfish is the fastest swimming fish, but man, whites can move through the bait so, like crazy. Yeah, baby, white lightning. Coming up. I don't know what's harder, bringing in yeah. a fish or bringing in all that damn. Hook one and you'll find out. <laughs> Let's get on him. Same size fish or what? Same size. There he is. Look at that flat. Yeah. Dorsal. I'm, I'm ready to see. So the white's going to be more rounded up the yeah. top? Yeah. Perfectly round. Say hello to Mr. Roger. Look at those stripes. Look where that circle hook is, baby. Oh, yeah. Perfect spot. Be ready. I'm going to let him go if he takes off. That's fine. I'm with you. Oh, nice, nice, nice. One more wave. You got him. Yeah. Right in the roof of the mouth, buddy. Beautiful fish, Scott. Oh, he's beautiful. Oh, oh man, he's got some collar. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. Awesome fish. Let's let him go, too. All right, we'll put him back. Yep. All right, good job. I want to take you one everything in. I know, a long time. <laughs> I'm telling you. It's nice having a crew to do them. You know, guys for dredge, guys for flat lines, guys for the riggers. I'm going to turn him loose, all right? Go ahead. There we go. It's all right. Them white marlin are tricky, dude. It's early. It's early, baby. All right, strong work. <laughs>